you're gonna miss this. You're gonna want this back. No, I won't. <laughs> well, welcome to my seventh ever series ranking video. And this video was suggested to me to do by Mighty Mega Man 9. So there's a shout out to you. And this film series is a seven part series. Ironically enough, this is the seventh series ranking and it's for a seven part series. Hmm. And it's for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre series. From my least favorite to my most favorite. So let's get started. Number seven is Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation. It's so annoying. It's so aggravating and irritating. And yet they prominently showcase their two big stars that went on to be in better things on the front cover of this shitty film. So I give this a 0 0.5 out of 5. Number 6 is Leatherface, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. This film was actually pretty good. It has some funny characters. It was originally rated X, but they re-released it as an unrated cut, but it's not that gory. It's still pretty tame, but it's a decent Leatherface film, no doubt. It has a nice, rich vibe, and it's made for a decent budget, so it's not that bad. So I give it a 2.5 out of 5. This is where I start to break with fans. Number five is The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the remake from 2003. This is a really, really well done film. There's not that much gore, but neither does the original film have that much gore. So it, it's a pass. Leatherface is a big hulky monster, which I like and I don't like, but it works to this film's benefit. So I give it a three out of five. Number four is The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. I love this film. It's so over-the-top and goofy. I enjoy the film. It's nice and gory, but it could have been different. And I know that Toby Hooper only made it a horror comedy because he knew he couldn't compete with the original. And I think that's a good enough excuse to give it a 3.5 out of 5 from me. Texas Chainsaw. Yeah, I give this film a 4 out of 5. And if you want my reasons for why I like it, go watch Good Bad Flex review on it. I'll post a link to that in the description below. But they explain everything why I like it perfectly. It's worth a 4 out of 5 in my opinion. And apparently Good Bad Flex's opinion as well. Number two is The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Beginning. This is a ruthlessly bloody film. I really dug it. There's a lot of the same kind of atmosphere as the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but it's even grittier and gorier. I love this film. Leatherface is so badass. Leatherface and Arlie Ermey steal the show just like they did in the first remake. I'm giving this a 4.5 out of 5. Now, number one is obviously the master classic, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, on the DVD and the Blu-ray and DVD combo pack 40th anniversary, which is brand new, and I really love this 40th anniversary. Just playing awesome guys the blu-rays and the dvds and if you take them out what do you got you see her she's walking up to the sawyer house i give this a five out of five any day it's one of the best slash flicks i've ever seen and it's one of the first two it's a master classic Also, who do you think I prefer? The Sawyers or the Hewitts? Comment below and I'll let the answer be known in the next series ranking video. I am Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Movie Reviews. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below and to leave comments and subscribe.